Class 3.4, pass year to the entries for debtor and creditor. The instruction says that to enter the following pass or year to the invoices for debtor, for AR invoice. So to record these invoices in AR invoice, so we go to the AR invoice new entry. Okay, so we go here and left click to record the new invoice. So here we choose the debtor as usual, customer wine, and the general type is sales. Okay, in this task, this is the only task that you can actually change the invoice number because the invoice number you already have generated from the previous software or by manual. So when you want to record again into the auto account system, you need to use your uh, same invoice number. So this invoice number you can just delete and replace with the existing one which is 12345 and the date here is 16 sorry 16 December 2019 okay and then the detail description here you need to click plus sign to add on the line and then you put in balance brought forward okay so the amount here is 5000 and the description here is balance brought forward as well so i just copy and paste Okay, we have the next invoice number that we need to key in. So I just tick proceed new AR invoice and click on save button. The next one will be customer one as well. The invoice number is 12359. The date is on 4th January 2020. And insert the column. The description is balance brought forward. And the amount is 3000 Okay, after that we click on save. The third invoice is customer one as well. The invoice number is 12388. And the date is 9 February. And click plus sign to insert the column. And the amount is 7000 And we save. And the fourth one is customer one as well. The invoice number is 12490. And the date is 11 March. And put in description, amount is 5000. Okay, and then we save. The second last is for the customer two. So we put in the invoice number 12396. The date is on 25th February. And then click plus sign. For the description, the amount is 6000. And save. The last one will be customer 2 as well. The invoice number is 12501. And the date is on 22nd of March. And the description amount is 2000. And before we click on save, this is the last AR invoice. So we untick proceed new AR invoice and we click on the save button. Okay, so to check our AR invoice listing, we right click on our mars and then you can see that all your AR invoice that you recorded just now will appear here. Okay, the next one will be to record the uh, AP invoice for creditor. So we go to the AP invoice, left click and we choose the creditor. Creditor is supplier A. General type is purchase and we key in the supplier invoice number. Okay, for this one, we don't have to change the invoice number because our supplier, they have their own 
invoice number so we just put in under this column and for this one we can just follow the system generated and the date is 20th December 2019 and insert the paste uh, description amount is 4000 and here paste and then click tick proceed new AP invoice and click on save the second the last one will be the supplier A supply invoice number is 223355 and the date is 22nd February okay and then the description okay if you don't want to go here you can just right click that's right you can just you can just double you can just right click on this empty space and add the column so this one the description panel brought forward and the amount is 5000 okay so this is the last one and then we untick proceed ap invoice and we click on the save button so to check our AP invoice, so we just right click here and then we can see this is our two AP invoice that we, we have recorded previously. And the last instruction will be update the debtors creditors last month Y2D balance from AR and AP transaction. Then verify the Y2D balance. So to do this, you have to go to the tools manage fiscal year and then to update you can go to the bottom here we have three options reset debtor creditor opening balance to zero update debtor creditor opening balance from past ar and ap and the last one update last month year to date balance from ar and ap transaction so you have to choose the last one which is update last month year to date balance from AR and AP. So when you click here, it says, Do you really want to update last month? Yes. And it will ask you one more time to for your confirmation. And if yes, you can just click yes. And to see the effect, you have to close from here and go back to GL and year to the balance maintenance. So when you go here, you can see just now you have a balance of negative 19,000. After you have updated all your invoices from ER and AP, the balance will be uh, the balance has become zero. So that is the effect for the update last month year to date balance from ER and AP. Okay, so that is for the task three point four. Task three point five is to set document numbering format. Previously, our numbering format is all follow the system generated. But for this task, we are going to create our new own numbering format. So to do that, you have to go to the general maintenance. And after that, you go to the document numbering format maintenance. Okay, here you have few category, which is GL, manufacturing, others, purchase, sales and stock. So, we are going to create the first numbering okay the first our own numbering so the first category is gl so we highlight category gl and then we click on the plus sign to expand the category okay so still at the first numbering the document type is cash receipt so the cash receipt is to Highlight the cash receipt and click on the plus sign to expand it. So currently we have one numbering which is the default system. So the default system is RV default. So we are not going to use this. We are going to create a new one. So to create a new one, we have to go to the new button and click new. 
So here you have to key in the new name for your numbering. The first numbering is OR cash and the document type is RR. Next number is 100. Okay, so you have to key in 1001 and the format is OR dash in bracket 000. Okay, we have 50 there and close bracket. Okay, and other thing you don't have to set. So, okay, you can just click OK. So, that is for the first numbering. The same goes to the second numbering. The category is GL. Document type is cash receipt. So, you just highlight cash receipt and click new. And the name will be uh, ORCMB. Okay, and then the document type is OR. The next number is 77789 and the format is OR-in bracket 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then you can see this is your sample numbering on your right side. Okay, after that you can just click OK. Now we do for the third one. The third one category is GL as well. But now the document type is different. It's a cash payment. So you need to highlight cash payment. And then you click new. And the name is CPV. Okay, document type PV. Next number is 9001. And you have to key in the format CPV dash in bracket 1234 and close it. And after that, you can just click OK. The fourth one is the category purchase. So, I highlight category purchase and click plus sign to expand. And under category purchase, the document type is purchase invoice. So, I highlight purchase invoice and expand it. So, currently, this is the default one. So, we have to create a new one. Create new and the name is PINV. Net document type PR next number is 55. Five. Okay, and then the format is PINV dash in bracket 1, 2, 3, 4 and close it. Okay, and there's, there's a note there saying that to set as default. Okay, that one you can just ignore first. I will guide you later. So this one you just click on OK to save and we proceed to the last one which is Category Sales and the document type is Invoice. Okay, and then create new, the name is INV. Okay, and then the next number is Wine. The format is INV dash. Four zero and close it. So after done this, you can just click OK. So basically, we have five new numbering that we create. One, two, three, four. Sorry, one, two, three, four, and five. So these five new numbering, there's two numbering that we need to set as default. So that is for the second instruction. Second instruction says that to assign the default numbering format for payment methods. So in brackets there, there's a two, um, two method on how to set the default. It's either you go to general maintenance, payment method maintenance, or you go to GL, account maintenance. Okay, here I advise you to go to the GL and then account maintenance because it's much more easier. So what you need to do is you go to the payment method, okay, and for the first payment method, CMBKL, okay, CMBKL, you highlight CMBKL, and then you go to the edit account. So to set the default numbering format here, you go to the bottom uh, bottom column here. There's a payment document number format. So you choose PV default. 
and the receipt you choose or cash after you done this one and you click on save button and the next one will be cash cash means cash in hand highlight and edit so here you change to cpv and the receipt here you change to or cash okay and then you click on save so i check again the cmbkl so this one is or cmb sorry Okay, after you done this, you close and we go back to the document number format. Just now, there's a set as default for purchase invoice and sales invoice. So, what you're going to do is, you highlight the document type purchase invoice here. After highlight here, you go to the manage. When you click on manage, you can see there's a two number format here. You highlight PNMV and you cannot direct tick here to change. You need to click on the set as default number format. Then only the default will change to PINV. And then you close. Here, it does not change yet because we haven't refreshed the system. By right, it's already changed. So we move to the sales one, sales invoice, highlight and then manage. Highlight INV and set as document number format and we close. So when I close back and then when I go back again to the document number format, when I check my purchase invoice, I can see the default has changed to PINV and the sales invoice has changed to INV as well. So that is for the task 3.5.